selfie subjects feel as though they are starring in their own reality shows, with an inflated sense of self that allows them to believe their friends or followers are interested in seeing them lying in bed, lips pursed, in a real world headshot. It's like looking in the mirror all day long and letting others see you do it. Peggy Drexler, Psychology Today. self-awareness is conveyed by the slight raise of an eyebrow, the sideways smile that says you're not taking it too seriously, a doe-eyed stare and must-up hair denotes natural beauty, as if you've just woken up and can't help looking like this, sexiness is suggested by sucked in cheeks, pouting lips, a nonchalant cock of the head and a hint of bare flesh just below the clavicle, snap, all of this is the work of an instant, then, with a single tap, you are ready to upload, to Twitter, to Facebook, to Instagram, each likeness accompanied by a self-referential hashtag. Your image is retweeted and tagged and shared. Your screen fills with thumbs up signs and heart-shaped emoticons. You are liked several times over. You feel a shiver of, what, exactly? Approbation, reassurance, existential con, whatever it is, it's addictive. Soon, you repeat the whole process trying out a different pose. Again and again, you offer yourself up for public consumption. Elizabeth Day, how self-eyes became a global phenomenon. The Guardian. Think for a moment about the ingenuity involved in building and designing a tiny high-resolution camera sensor linked to a fast processor. The labor of PhDs in physics and electrical engineering produce a product that would allow a teenage girl with her top arranged suggestively to take a selfie and watch the love begin. 